Hey folks, Dan Free here, the rate update. Today is March 24th, 2021. I'll be right back to give you all the rates for today. Don't go away. Okay, so it was a good day, I'll say, for mortgage rates. We're not talking about anything else. I love the new format, but I do have some bad news for those with second homes and investment properties that are looking to refinance. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second, but let's go on to what happened today in rates. We have up six on the MBS markets. What this is, is what's happening to the bond, the mortgage backed security bond that trades on wall street. That is the biggest component or factor in mortgage rates. But the good news is we are on a nice little uptrend. Okay. Let me explain this to you. What the MBS number here means, it's what's happening to the price, not the rate, the price of the bond as the price goes up god i always miss my camera when the price goes up rates come down the price goes down rates go up so we love green we love when this price goes up and that's what we got today we have a nice little run right here look at this the last three out of four days last four out of five days we're in the green that's fantastic Okay, so that's what's going on right there. What happened throughout the day? Because let's say, for example, you, you watch your stock and the stock at the beginning of the day was 100 bucks, the end of the day is 100 bucks, but what did it do during the day? And we focus on that as well. So we came out of the gate and we dropped. That wasn't good news, but then we had a reversal. We had a nice little run into the end of the day. At the end of the day, there was some profit taking, uh, so it dropped down, but the good news is when we end in green, what green means, is there's more buyers in the bonds than sellers. So hopefully what we'll see is a continuation through the through tomorrow's opening on an up track. Okay, so what's, what news came out today that might have affected all this? Well, not too much. Federal Chairman Powell uh, spoke in front of Congress today and what he said must have been okay and I won't go through it in detail, uh, but he didn't spook the market, which was the best thing uh, that we could have had. The five-year treasury auction went, it went okay, but tomorrow we're gonna focus on what's going on with the seven-year treasury and also jobless claims. So these, this, is, uh, this is where we're gonna focus tomorrow, what will affect rates tomorrow. I don't see any hiccups here other than right here. At noon tomorrow, this, there'll be a seven-year treasury auction. Depending on how aggressive the buyers are in this, it might have a role or it might play a role in what's happening with mortgage rates. Last month, the seven-year auction went terribly bad and mortgage rates spiked, okay? So that's the one thing we're gonna focus on tomorrow. Uh, Federal Chairman Powell is um, done speaking for today. So again, he didn't spook the markets, which is good news. Um, and then on Friday, we're gonna see the uh, personal consumption expenditure. This is the component that the Fed watches to see if they think inflation is heating up or not. So this is the biggest piece of the puzzle on Friday. Depending on how this comes in, you, it'll have trickle effects into the bond market as well as the stock market. Now what happened to rates today? So guys, I'm gonna condense this into just a one pager, but just so you know, I had a lot of people saying, hey Dan, what's the VA rates? VA rates are normally in most, with most lenders, not all, normally the same as FHA rates. With us, they are. So I'm gonna show you this. These are not my rates. These are a survey of lenders all over the country and where their rates are. Um, down through here, we're not gonna focus on these areas. These are different areas that give you different rates based on points you wanna pay and so forth. So you can say, well, the 30 year right now is 3.48, but it's gonna cost you four, two points. So what would this rate be? I always try to give rates. Where, what are rates at or what can you get with the assumption of paying no points? And you can always buy down the rate, okay? Sometimes it's warranted, sometimes it's not. But today, right now, uh, the consensus vote throughout the, the country, the 30 year fixed rate is 3.33. That's down three basis points than we were yesterday. Three basis points is that, 0 0.03, okay? The 15 year, 2.79, down four basis points from yesterday. FHA, 2.85, down three basis points from yesterday. Jumbos, 3.33, no change. Five-year arms, that's where they are. So people were asking, Dan, I, I just want you to focus, if you would please, on rates as well as the 15-year, because I would give just the 30-year rates. So that's where rates are right now. Let's go back and see where we've been for the last two years, 
okay? So if you go back two years, because you can see here, a lot of, lot of the uh, charts that I have, it's you know where we were last year. Well, let's go back in time just a little bit. Let's go back to, you know, say here in November of 2018, going into January 2019, rates are in the fives, okay? We still have rates in the threes today. So here's my, here's my analogy on this. If you're, if you're looking still to refinance, especially if you're in a forbearance and you've been in your mortgage for a year, two or three, probably a great idea for you to uh, look at a forbearance. That's where we can help you, all right? The bad news I have for today is if you're looking to buy or refinance a second home or investment property, you're going to start getting hit approximately two points. Okay, two points means 2% of the loan amount in costs. Most lenders throughout the whole country are doing this for purchases and refinances. Where we're a little bit different, we are only hitting refinances. Purchases are still wide open for us. We've elected as a company not to pass this cost on to you. So if you're still looking to, for, to buy a second home or investment property, we might be your best shot out there because 99% of the country, the lenders out in the country are going to hit uh, on second homes and investments. They're gonna hit you 2% of fee, no matter if you're purchasing or refinancing. So you're like, Dan, okay, why am I, why would I use you? What do you do for a living? I'm a mortgage guy. I've been doing this for 33 years. I'm asking you, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below, hit the bell. So every time I post a video, you get an alert. But where I can come into play, you see rocket mortgage, you see guaranteed rate, you see best rates in town, this and that and this and that. Please think of me as your, your personal consultant. I have some of the best rates in town the lowest fees in town, we work with you. We are your personal consultant. If you're looking to build a home, buy a home or refinance, especially if you're in a forbearance, reach out to us. We have some special programs out there that most lenders don't have. If you're building a house, you can't, most lenders will lock you for 60 days. That's it. I'm getting, our, our phones are ringing off the hook because people are saying, they can't build my house in 60 days and rates are going up. I need to lock in. Many states, and I'll have a video out on this tomorrow, many states we can lock you up to one year. You might not need one year if you're building the house, maybe four or six months, but at least you can lock in and have the peace of mind that I'm locked in. The nice information about that is if rates drop prior to us closing you, you can have a one-time float down and we can relock you at the lower rate. So that's good news there. If you're in a forbearance, I'm not even gonna go through it with you. You know what it is, I know what it is. But if you're in a forbearance, there's 1.2 million people coming out of forbearance at the end of this month. If you're freaking out, call me. If you don't know what your lender is gonna do, call me. Let's give you an exit strategy so you can sleep at night not thinking, oh my, is my are my payments gonna go up? Here's what's happening in most cases. They're taking your balance and throwing it to the back end. However, your escrow needs to be funded. I've talked to about 10 different people today. What's happening is their escrow short, it means they don't have enough in their, their escrow account to pay their taxes and homeowners insurance as they come due. So what's happening is they're taking that balance, dividing it by six or 12 months, their servicer is doing this, and adding that to their payments. It's adding to most people's payments, it's adding between two and $400 a month. And this is one way we can help you with that exit strategy so you don't get hit for that. So that is it for today. So please, I'm asking, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the bell so every time I post a video, you get an alert. Next, next question is, Dan, how do we get a hold of you? Well, great question. Go to therateupdate.com, scroll down to the bottom, there's an 800 number, 844-775-LOAN. That's 844-775-5626 or go right here, this is my calendar. You can click, you can choose between a 15, a 30, and a 60 minute consultation. Just click this, this will launch you into my calendar and find available times where we can get together either phone or Zoom and go over all and any questions you have. And then the next thing is our primary website is if, you, if you're mobile savvy, you can just click here and start the mobile application. If you're website savvy and you wanna start an application, click here. If you're like, I really don't know what I wanna do, I know I wanna buy a house, but there's a lot of questions I have. Well, do, do me a favor, click here if it's, a, if, if it's a purchase that you're looking to do or here if it's a refinance. What it'll do is it'll walk you through about 12 or 18 questions based on the answers to those questions 
it'll guide me as well as you into the perfect program uh, to meet your individual needs. Now I changed my format yesterday and I'm, I'm proud to say I got a, uh, a, a lot of good feedback yesterday from people. And if you would go to my, my primary web uh, YouTube channel, The Rate Update with Dan Frio, and you're gonna see over 800 different videos. But yesterday was kind of cool because I posted the new format and you go through these questions and I ask people, you know, put down, put down some comments and things down below. And here was one that, that really stood out to me. It was right here um, by Nasad and Josh. Love the new video content. Also called yesterday and very impressed, very impressed with how informative, friendly, and not pushy your staff is. We'll be doing business with you. That's what I always ask you guys, or, or at least explain, explain to you. We're here to consult you. We put you in loans that we would do ourselves. Most of my staff is seasoned between, we probably all have been in the business over 15 years. We're not in this for a quick buck. We're here to truly, truly help you. And then by helping you, you help get the word out about us and that even increases our business from there. So I wanna thank everybody for the post. Please make sure to put anything down in the description below. I try every day to comment on every post that everybody puts in there. And I do read your feedback. So if there's content you want me to cover, I'd be more than happy to cover it. So God bless guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.